So today we're looking at color management when it comes to cameras. Now, this is gonna be an ongoing series until I run out of cameras, of course. So if you wanna see a certain camera or a certain color space, leave a comment below and I'm sure we'll get to it. But we're not talking about Rec. 709, we're talking about raw or log footage because we've already done Rec. 709. Plus that really applies to all cameras, that just doesn't apply to a certain camera. So let's jump in Resolve and I'll show you how to do this camera. Blackmagic Pocket 4K. So first of all, let's look at our color space transform at the front. So this is where you're gonna put your input device transfer. So your first color space transform. So come up to effects here, come down to color space transform. We're working with Blackmagic 4K. So that obviously that means we need to work in that color space or meaning that we need to work in the color space from the camera. So use timeline, we wanna go down to, uh, what is it? Blackmagic design wide gamut 4.5. Input gamma is Blackmagic design film gen 5. Now, if you wanna work in DaVinci wide gamut, then obviously you'd come down to DaVinci wide gamut. If you wanna work in ARRI, then you choose ARRI wide gamut 3. So let's just say we're working in DaVinci wide gamut. Output gamma is DaVinci intermediate. Now in our output node or output device transfer, we're gonna to go to our color space transform once again, and you can actually copy this one across. Control C, Control V, and come to swap. Now, Rec. 709, output gamma refers to your monitor. So if you're using a laptop, maybe gamma 2.2, but I'm using gamma 2.4. Now, tonal mapping, we wanna make this to luminous mapping. Use custom max input, put this right up. It'll give us a better range when it comes to grading. If we were to lower this, just like the original, we'll be clipping highlights. So let's give us as much space as possible. Use custom max output. That's all fine. Gamut mapping, change this to saturation compression. So here is our first one. We wanna take tonal mapping method back to none. Sorry, I should have said that before. I'm sure someone will pick up on that. So here is our input color space, input gamma, output color space, output gamma. And all this is at none because we don't want Resolve doing any adjustments to our clip before we started grading it. Our color space transform at the end, our ODT, output device transfer, input color space to inch wide gamut, input gamma to inch intermediate. So we're going from our output color space here into our input color space here, and then we're going out into Rec. 709, gamma 2.4. Now, if you wanted to do this on your entire timeline, I would suggest that you can make this into a group, make this into a pre-group, and then you would wanna put this one on your timeline, which will make it the last node in your working grade. And that's it. If you wanna see any other cameras, make sure to comment below. Thanks again for watching and have a great night.